Hi viewers, we are starting a new video series where we will look at some of the new features that will be you would be questioned on Solution Architect Associate C03. Please subscribe to my channel. This matters a lot in the YouTube world. Now please use these few videos as preparation guides so that you can understand the new features. Are the old questions relevant? Yes, they are. Those are still relevant. I will post some new questions as well, which are linked with new features. But let us understand the concepts of the new features. Amazon Comprehend. This is one of the features which is a new ad and you will be quizzed around. This was a part of machine learning certification. Now they have also added this in the Solution Architect Associate. It is a natural language processing service which uses machine learning un under the cover. Okay, It is used to derive very important insights. For example, you have a call center and this person is taking the calls and but she is just ad adding the pain points of the customer. But she is not logging if the customer is happy, sad or depressed and so on. What if you, you when you see the data, when you are trying to analyze it using Tableau or any other natural language processing tools or anything or Python and so on and you say that okay this is the pain point but is the customer sad about it or is it happy or it's a mixed set of feeling what is the sentiment around it you don't know now the question comes is this call center executive she understands the sentiment yes yes mate she understands the sentiment but she is not logging it in the database hey you know what this person uh, he has a problem with his bills and he is extremely annoyed there is no field which where she says okay this is the sentiment of this person then it comes comprehend it will what happens is the data from the call center gets fed in Amazon S3. Comprehend reads that data. It will go through that text. It has inbuilt intelligence. You know, it is not like human beings. We are not intelligent, but the computers are intelligent. It will go through it. It has a machine learning under the cover program and it will derive key phrases, entities, sentiments, and it will put it in Redshift database. From there, you can plug your Tableau or any analytical uh, softwares and derive insights. So for example, this is a small paragraph. It will read through this paragraph. It will try to understand what is the sentiment that the author is putting in this paragraph. Now, let us understand the use cases. One of the use cases is voice of the customer analytics. This person is able to hear the voice and understand, but she is not logging the sentiment. So here is where this software comes into play, where you will come to know it is positive, negative, mixed, and so on. You have feeds coming in from social media. You have emails. You can understand what is the sentiment of the email. The next use case is where you can use it for index and search product reviews. For example, you know, when you go to Google, you type nature, you will get all the listings with nature, but it is not giving the sentiment of the nature. But with this software, you can also type nature and cruel, nature and happy and so on. You can put the sentiments and it will give you that type of search. Another important use case is understanding the customer sentiment for what? When you take the surveys and accept that you understand the sentiments to improve your product. So people are now mining business and call center data so that they can derive useful analytics, improve the products, understand the surveys, improve customer satisfaction. Let's move to the next use case, you know, contracts and there are many other confidential documents. Now these contracts have personal identifier information that is PII, something like credit card or, or your social security numbers, your first name, last name, address, your medical and health insurance details. These are all PII, okay, and PII may be in contract. So sometimes what happens is you want the software to go through it and redate or sorry, redact. What does it mean is redact means you want to, you know, summarize. You have big set of documents. You want to summarize and remove all of the information, all of this information you want to remove so that there is no loss or there is no compromise of PII. This is very important for legal briefs management where you know you have contracts and court records and other legally secure documents. The PII should not be compromised. Please remember this concept, redact. This will be asked in the certification exam. Another important use case is knowledge management and discovery. You use this kind of software to personalize the content for your customers. Okay. So in the certification exam, these are the four use cases that I have talked about. And you can be questioned, quizzed. Any time you see any of these four scenarios, think about this software. Okay. Comprehend is a very important feature or a service. Now, let us quickly try to understand some of the important things. Is it a managed service? Yes, it is fully managed. What happens if it is fully managed? You, you don't have to maintain the code. You don't have to define or design the auto scaling. You don't have to maintain the training data. Everything is done by Comprehend automatically. The other beauty is it keeps learning over time. So what happens is it will produce better confidence results time over time so one month back the confidence that it was generating was less after one month two months three months it will improve but do you have to do anything no my friend nothing you don't have to do anything is it secured yes 
it is using SSL protocol, it is secured. Is the data secured? Yes, it can read the data from S3, it can write the data to S3, the data is always secured inside Comprehend. Now, if you are seeing this status code, very important from the certification exam point, if you get this status code, that means it is success. This software is able to you know, read that text and understand the insights or sentiments inside it. If you get other status codes, so it is important that you go through the other status codes to understand what type of error comes in what scenario. Some three, four key status code is important. Now, result accuracy. Is this software producing very high results? Can I trust the results? Boss, whenever you get the results, it will tell you the confidence level. If the confidence level is low, that means you cannot trust it totally. If the confidence level is high or near to high, you can trust it. It is up to you. It's simple. The way AI works is it will always give you the confidence levels. It's up to you, your decision. You you, rem you know how matronym works or you, how dating sites work. They just give you the data. Whether you like that person or not, it's up to you. They don't know. Now, is the data safe with this service? Yes, there are technical controls, physical controls built in. That means encryption at rest, encryption in transit, just like your databases and other services is built in. Only authorized persons can access the content. That means it is strongly integrated with IAM. Whenever we talk about authorized access, IAM. And you are always the owner of the data or the content. It does not go to AWS and the AI will not be the owner now. You are the owner. So that is very important from the certification standpoint. They might quiz you around that. It is now with Comprehend. So Comprehend becomes the owner or AWS becomes the owner. No mate. This is your data, your content. You are the owner. The other thing is it is always stored in the same region. That means you might get questions in the certification exam where they might say, okay, you saved that content in a particular region and now we are going to another region. So can I access it or will it move to that region? No, it will not move to that region. It is secured in that region. And one thing to note here is COPA. COPA is Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. Can you use this service to analyze data which are linked with children under 13 years? You can. In, certain, in a lot of scenarios, you can because this is COPA compliant, but there will be some other guidelines also you might have to consider, but important from a certification standpoint, they might quiz you around COPA compliance. So comprehend is COPA compliant as well. Friends, please subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. I will see you in the next part. I would be posting many more such informative content in a very short span of time so that it is helpful for you to prepare for C03. See you in the next part.